And here, our uh, final example, we want to write the Cartesian equation and also graph them. So first, let's go ahead and apply our steps. One, solve for t. x equals e to the 2t. So if we take the natural log of both sides, uh, this term will cancel out. So we have t equals ln of x over 2. And in our step 2, we are going to plug in this t for the t and y, so 2 times ln of x over 2 minus 1, which simplifies to ln of x minus 1. So here's the Cartesian equation, and now we want to graph it. Well, graphing this is fairly simple because now that we have this form, the Cartesian form, we know that uh, y is just ln of x uh, shifted down by one unit. So shifting it down by one unit, we get something like this. This is ln of x minus 1. And please note that the t here is greater than or equal to 0, which means that um, our bounds are restricted by this, uh, this bound. So two different representations. We have our parametric representation, and here we have our Cartesian representation, but they result in the same graph, whether it's parametric or car Cartesian. So uh, this is the relationship between the two forms. And that was a quick look at parametric equations. In the next lessons, we're going to look at more uh, forms of uh, functions with different amounts of dependent variables in different forms. So uh, look forward to the variety in the upcoming lessons, and thanks for watching educator.com.